you doing, Trench? I'm back. If you're a sincere seeker of truth, check that. Assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh. Welcome to my 20,000 subs special. In this video, I'm going to be doing something really different instead of refuting misconceptions and whatnot. I'm giving a shout out to the Imam who deserves to be given a shout out. Notice in the bottom left side of the screen, it says, This is a da'if, this is a weak hadith, but this is a rejected hadith. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. <laughs> that you Muslim, you are saying to us that you Muslim, you lie about your prophet. Because you liar, you said, because this hadith is da'if, it is rejected. This is a weak hadith, but this is a rejected hadith. Well, anyone can go right now and search in YouTube. He will find this guy, his name Sheikh Hamza, and he explained to the little one like you that da'if hadith is accepted. But there, there's, there's an attack on weak hadith in our time. This is a weak hadith, but this is a rejected hadith. And so when the ulama say it's a weak hadith, it passed. Uh, you could do, use a weak hadith. The ulama don't reject weak hadith. And the, so this argument against the weak hadith is, is, uh, is a weak argument. Weak, it means it have a rank. That's why they call it weak. You are stupid. You are officially stupid. But this is a rejected hadith. <laughs> <laughs> a mistake like this can only come from someone who's a miskeen, someone who's a jahil. <laughs> the number five most disgusting fact about Muhammad is Muhammad had sex with a prepubescent nine year old girl. Uh, no, he didn't. Aisha already had her puberty at the time. <laughs> Aisha, she had a puberty at that time. Reference, please. Already had her puberty at the time. Is, 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 is. She have what? Aisha already had her puberty at the time. What is that? You are showing me dictionary, you idiot. You are showing me dictionary. What is this? This is Google? What is this? How stupid you are. You know exactly who I am. You are a stupid man. You are a stupid man. If the idiot says so, that's mean it is so. You know me. <laughs> Abdul, potato, this is a spank for the coming century. Let me get you busted. Let me show the hadith because I'm not like you who say things without proofs and reference. Read with me, potato. This is Sahih al Bukhari, hadith number 6130. I used to play with the dolls in the presence of the Prophet. So she is mature, she had a puberty, but she is playing with the dolls. And then, look what it says. But it was allowed to Aisha at that time as she was little girl not yet reach the age of a pure party. The book of Fethul Bari, page number 143, volume number 13. Already had her puberty at the time. If, 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 she have what? Aisha already had her puberty at the time. <laughs> she reached, that's it. This is the answer. She reached the age of a pure party. That's it. I mean, you can, what you can do about it? That's right. If Farid says so, if Farid says so, that's mean it is so. I want to share a piece of a clip with you, which is uh, from this individual called Farid. I, I went to his video in which he's trying to refute my moon splitting. And look what I found. Look, look what his argument is. You would expect that the Persians and the Romans, in this time the Byzantines, would document such a miracle. Because both of them, especially the Romans, kept records strictly of pretty much everything. There's another issue with Ravan's assumption here. One of the reasons why we do not have heaps of documented evidence was because most people were asleep at night. Remember, this is the 7th century. The argument here is uh, people, we don't have any secondary reports of the moon splitting in two in the seventh century because it happened at night, because, because people were sleeping, you know, people were mm -hmm. sleeping. They, they didn't see that because, you know, people were asleep. Because most people were asleep at night. Am I the only one who thinks this is this is the most one of the most ridiculous things that I've ever heard? He's got a point. Most <laughs> most people would be asleep. I mean, come on, you can't deny that. People sleep at night. Come on. 
The number four most disgusting fact about Muhammad, Muhammad encouraged his followers to suck on each other's fingers. Islam is the only religion I'm aware of that promotes finger sucking. Sahih al-Bukhari 5456 narrated Ibn Abbas, the Prophet said, when you eat, do not wipe your hands till you have licked it or had it licked by somebody else. Uh, that's not a translation, that's an interpretation. <laughs> that's an interpretation. That is an interpretation? That's an interpretation? Guys, this is not a translation. This is the inter what is the interpretation? It says, do you, do you understand English? Narrated that Ibn Abbas said, that the Prophet said, who is the one is talking? The Prophet said, the, so the Prophet interpretation, the Prophet? That's an interpretation. I mean, do you even have a little intelligence or intellect or dignity? The Prophet said, you idiot. That's an interpretation. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> Make sure to visit Nature's Blend for a 10% discount on fantastic Sunnah natural products like these black seed and maruka honey, black seed oil, you've got black seed and turmeric and many other products. Hajab 10 for a 10% discount. The link will be in the description. So, like, that's like one, that's probably my favorite Christian Prince line. It's this one. Imam al Hafiz and Ibn Hajar in the book Fatih al Bari said, Anyone he fear Allah, Allah will make him extremely horny. One of the privilege of the Prophet, may Allah pray on him and salute him. Therefore, he used to do intercourse for all his women every day. Volume 1, page 282. A major translation error in this paragraph comes in the form of He used to do intercourse for all his women every day. This doesn't say every day. It says, in a day. <laughs> this doesn't say every day. It says, in a day. I own you in Arabic. I own you in my knowledge of Islam. I know. Now this is a despicable character, a cantankerous individual with no training and no qualification. No training and no qualification. <laughs> <laughs> he just agreed that the Christian prince, he is saying every day, but he don't agree with every day. He is saying that he's a prophet used to if all his wives in a day. This doesn't say every day. It says in a day. In a day, in a day. <laughs> That's quite <laughs> It's a yes! I love this job so much! <laughs> I'm just doing this because this guy, Fareed, he, uh, he spent a lot of time uh, insulting me, uh, you know, t talking like all kinds of garbage while he was supposed mm -hmm. to refute. You little you, you want to refute me? Me? <laughs> You little you, you want to refute me? Me? Crook! Wallah, you're a crook! Anyways, I'm done. I'll be back. Surprise!